Father Wilson is the procurator of Ampleforth Abbey in North Yorkshire. Benedictine monks, of course, have a tremendous tradition of food and drink, and here is their latest product, Ampleforth Abbey beer. Um, Father Wilson, why, why beer? Well, St Benedict expects that his monks will do something to earn their own living. And over the centuries, making beer has been a very traditional monastic thing, beginning, first of all, with our own home brew when you couldn't drink the water. And you, you, were, you had to move around because of politics and history, and you, you went over from England to France, and am I right that you, you, you started brewing beer there and it was known as English beer? That's right. We settled in Lorraine in 1608, and our main work there as opposed to sending priests back here to be missioners was brewing of beer. It's how the community lived, and the beer was known as English beer. Oh, but the French didn't mind that. They took to it. No, the French very, very much liked it. It was, <laughs> it was in the court of the Duke of Lorraine, and it was uh, all over France with a warrant from Louis Fourteenth. And now it's come back to England. Um, but it's got to compete with your famous cider. That, that, that's what Ampleforth Abbey is primarily known for at the moment, I think, in, yeah. ter in terms of drinks. Yes, I think so. But I, th I, th I suspect overall there'll be more beer drinkers than cider drinkers. Good. Well, we'll have to see. And, oh, and finally, Benedictine, the, the, the liqueur that's forever associated with your order. Indeed. Any chance of that being made up here in North Yorkshire? Probably not. <laughs> Alas. Alas. Well, cheers. Thank you.